When buying a new camera, you might think higher resolution is always better, but not in all cases. So today, let's have a look at the overall pros and cons of low megapixels versus high megapixels. First up, lower resolution cameras are usually better in low light. Because each pixel is physically larger, they can capture more light, meaning you're gonna get far less grain in a lower megapixel camera versus a higher megapixel camera. And because it's lower megapixels, the file sizes are gonna be significantly smaller, meaning you can take loads of photos on a 64 gig card, where it would fill up fast on a higher resolution camera. But lower megapixel cameras have far less information in them. If you're only shooting 12 megapixels, it means you might have problems with limited scaling. So if you do want to print large, higher resolution cameras are usually better, especially if you want to crop in on your images. Whereas higher resolution cameras physically have more resolution, which means they're far better for cropping. So if you do want to print larger, that's a major positive. You can print even A2 or A1 on a higher resolution camera where you might be limited on a lower resolution camera. But all that resolution does come at a cost, meaning larger file sizes. It will take up significantly more room on your SD card and hard drive than a lower resolution camera. Plus, because of the higher resolution, you're going to have a slower readout speed plus a slower frames per second. So if you're a sports or wildlife photographer, it might be better off buying a lower megapixel camera. That's why all of the Canon flagship cameras are lower megapixels. The Canon R1, although is more expensive than the R5 Mark II, is lower megapixels, only being 24. And that is because of the slower readout. So as you can see, there are pros and cons to both. So which one would you buy? 